United States Olympic Committee Training Design Symposium. 2008, Errol Jorgensen, Norwegian National Cross Country Ski Coach, Transition and ICC. This original lecture was about an hour and 20 minutes and these are the audio notes. Transition period, four to six weeks long, which has 40 to 50 percent of training amount as maximum of volume. Seldom a good idea for athletes to skip transition period and start with high volume. No serious competitions, no stress, few jobs, one week off or a vacation to take care of mental health, health checks and operations, any testing of equipment if needed. Main period for analyzing and evaluating past and planning future. That is the transition, which could also be called the break after this season. Work. Athletes have to be ready for work you give them, or it's a waste of time, mentally and physically. Head must be ready for training, meaning their mind. Athletes have different skills and need different programs for training. That is, older and more mature athletes who might as well be elite athletes versus younger learning and developing athletes who have either just started or may not have mastered the basic skills. Athlete development will thrive under good system, structure, and training. Coach athlete relationship. Involving athletes in analyzing and planning is one of Norwegian secrets to medals. Gives athletes more responsibility to take charge of their careers, increases motivation for training, and prolongs career. ICC. Individual coaches conversation. Top level athletes are capable of seven to eight week super compensation with optimal training designs optimal training design that is periodized and individualized training design. Athlete control. Athletes must communicate, buy in and follow training design or they risk training with too much intensity, volume and peaking in practice and being too tired for competitions. ICC conditions. Coach must have knowledge, must be able to teach different subjects. The coach the coach's work has to be a passion, must be willing to communicate and develop with athlete. Coach must give knowledge to athletes so athlete can make good decisions. Athletes study matches and can give excellent info to coach. This info can be communicated in ICC and save a lot of time. ICC must be focused on quality achievement and what influences results. So I'm just going to, just a little bit of a summary here. ICC individual coaches conversation is a two-way communication. In other words, the coach is really trying to find out how the athlete can reach the full potential. And the athlete in turn is really, you know, giving the coach everything that that coach needs to help the development of the athlete. So when both people are equal in terms of communication, now they can plan for success, and that's the, the gist so far of individual coaches' conversations to help develop the athlete. Athlete ICC conditions. Athlete must have own opinions, independent thinking, and challenge the coach. Athlete has to take responsibility for own training. ICC can be on phone or text or email. Talking is best. Two people can see more than one, and coach needs athlete's feedback. Athlete must take initiative and call coach when something is wrong. Analyze training factors with athlete is focused to keep ICC focused. Athlete needs knowledge, that is books, slideshows, etc. This is the key to independence. Athletes need coaches, even if they have all theories mastered. Independent thinking is a gradual process, and coach must work with athlete to enhance this ability. That is, swimming in deep end of pool takes time. Smart work. Athletes must be educated step by step. Athletes at top level want to stay there and are eager to stay there. 
athletes whole world crashes if top level is not maintained nor achieved just going to stop right there again so when athletes get to a certain level with their development and or their achievement let's say they achieve some success nine times out of ten the athlete wants to continue to be at that level and a lot of athletes put a lot of emphasis into training and achievement and if they have you know somewhat of a, a letdown then it can this can be a time where ICC can really become effective because athletes put a lot of focus attention and uh, you know a lot of their a lot of their focus I guess is you know on winning and losing and primarily developing and getting better so the ICC can become really really extremely important in that sense as well athletes are usually willing to listen after perceived failures which is a good situation for coaches the team one-on-one -on -one and with team easier to build team with ICC coaches with good ICC stay longer with team in other words they're less likely to get fired because they have a good communication system with the team and the team understands the philosophy and the direction and the goals and the plans focus on development of team and team must be focused on development everyone must contribute and be prepared this helps during good times and bad times or adversity part of philosophy is sport specific training year-round and 60 to 70 days of specific training before competitions how to achieve success ICC individual coaching conversations positive and offensive attitude to training and competitions find out what's best for athletes ICC guides athletes and structure of training with focus on performance to create positive mindset towards training and competitions importance of ICC ICC demonstrates coach is interested in athlete as a person not only as an athlete it may increase self-awareness of athlete and help athlete understand self-esteem and self-respect is linked to more than performance if this is accomplished the athlete's chance to win is higher increased knowledge of understanding of athlete is necessary when analyzing stress and estimating the athlete's total workload each is important when planning or regulating the total competition load ICC helps to avoid overtraining and it prolongs career of athletes ICC can help prolong careers to 35 to 40 this experience helps the team coaches invest a lot in athletes and ICC maintains a high return on investment Jorgensen system two conversations of two to three hours plus one hour every month plus shorter and more frequent often conversations effective for best necessary for athletes with problems gives athletes responsibility for development let athletes start with solutions plans coach must be patient and let athlete bring up solutions issues then athletes are more likely to buy buy in coach can lead athlete to solutions Sometimes athlete has better solutions than the coach. It's better to let athletes sit and think rather than to be an over eager aggressive coach. Use of scaling. Athletes give themselves a rank on all aspects of training. Athletes can rank themselves on overtraining. This helps coach understand athlete and athlete understand coach and self. Coach must listen to athlete and take them serious many times athletes come up with solutions coach must focus on solutions and improvements I guess that's the essence of coaching and teaching this increases motivation of athlete and chance for athlete solutions searching for mistakes instead of finding solutions is a paradigm shift or offensively thinking athletes can lead to solutions especially when coach knows the solution Coach must help athletes see and find solution through ICC. Coach cannot see everything. Coach athlete must work together. Coach and athlete must believe. Putting belief in athletes is the key to success. Athletes must remember reasons for success. Coach must be concrete and effective. In competition period, ICC before and after competitions. Extent of ICC depends on how many athletes you have. 
Avoid gossip and unnecessary questions. Find and discover your own limits. Be yourself. You can't be an expert on everything. Serious problems require professionals. Why ICC? Number one, personal athletic development. Number two, clarify coach athlete expectations. Two, training, level, amount, content, and results. Number three, develop trust and openness. Number four, is meant to be a genuine and result-focused tool, not only for competitions, but also athletes' well-being. ICC, must be planned and prepared, must happen regularly, must be personal, must be confidential, must talk with athlete as equals, not to them. Assumptions for successful ICC. Coach is responsible. Coach athlete must give it a try for all athletes, just like training. Have enough time and adapt to size of team. Follow up on the matters. ICC content, results, goals, training, mental aspects and group relations, future career and competence, competition planning. Competition plan is difficult due to increased competitions across the board. Athletes want to compete more due to current systems. Competition plan is a key reason for mistakes. Find athletes where they are. Meet them there. Develop them. ICC will make your system better. In summary, to this particular discussion, I've actually I've mentioned to you earlier on one or two or the other uh, audio notes that my first two years coaching at the United States Olympic Education Center, I did not necessarily have great communication skills, nor did I have individual coaching conversations with my athletes in this manner. I think that started in 2004-2005. These uh, seminars by the United States Olympic Committee were at the United States Olympic Training Center in Colorado Springs and, and from 2007 to 2008 I think they had like four of them at various training centers and locations across the USA. Nonetheless, once I got my hands on all of this material here, it's like my coaching became much more effective. I was able to deal with my athletes on a much better level, build a much better relationship, and get information that, you know, may have hampered or hindered their development. So I'm, you know, I've completely bought into individual coaching conversations. The challenge is they take a lot of time, uh, but, you know, the investment of that time is a great, you get a, a great return on investment if you like to use, a, you know, a financial analogy there. But the essence of the individual coaching conversations is to give the athletes an opportunity to, you know, make solutions to their own problems. Earlier in this discussion, you may have uh, heard me or the author through my notes suggest that athletes have to come up with their own solutions and even though the coach may actually already know the solution to the problem. So that the, the idea there is once the athlete starts to figure these things out, we're kind of leading them to direction them to everything, right? As teachers and coaches, that's what our job is essentially to lead and direct and to kind of mentor them. But ultimately, they have to become critical thinkers on their own and that's sort of our job. When that actually does happen, you see an increase in their self-esteem. You see an increase in their confidence and you see a decrease in their responsibility. These are life skills that carry over to just about every part of their life. If we can do that, certainly that's going to also help their sporting career as well. And ultimately, I'm of the belief system that this should be a part of your periodization plan and or your high performance training.